Hello, my name is Rob with Synapse, and over the next five minutes or so, I'm going to demonstrate some of the features of Simply Snap for sports lighting. I have a Simply Snap gateway that's connected online with a bunch of lights back at our office, and here I am at home, and I've got the app downloaded on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Simply Snap app and click login and put in my username and password. And every account has different levels of access. And so I have an account set up here where I have access to these three sites. If I have multiple locations, it'd be very easy for me to switch between those locations. Um, but for demonstration purposes here, we're just going to log into this one here, the sports lighting site. And right away when I log in, I get a visualization of the status of the lights. You can see right now they're currently off. And if I click on a light, the menu is going to pop out and show me scenes that are already configured in the system for the light or the area that I tapped on the map. So I can see here I've got uh, all lights on, all lights off. I've got a national anthem scene, player introductions, and then a security light scene. So I want to go ahead and just quickly turn all the lights on. So I'm going to click all lights on, and you can see uh, all of the lights turned on. And we click on another light, and we want to shut those lights off. So just right there, you can see how quick and easy it is to get into the system and just turn everything on, turn everything off. Now, let's say you want to drill down a little closer. We're going to zoom in and take a look. And if you want to get some more information about an individual light, you can select the light after zooming in. And I could turn that light on here on the dimming slider, or I could put it at a different dimming level, or I could shut the light off completely. Can see the address of the controller that's connected to the light and here are those same scenes again that uh, i showed previously when i was zoomed out i could go ahead and turn all the lights on from here or shut all the lights back off again so a couple different ways you can get into control your lights quickly and easily now let's go over to the menu and take a look at those scenes and you can see here in the menu i've got scenes schedule and alarms and we've really simplified the interface in the cloud so that really this is meant for end users, users of the system. We're hiding any of the advanced configuration. We're just showing them the things that are important to them. So I'm going to click on scenes. And let's say I've got pra football practice every Tuesday and Thursday, and I want to set a scene up for dimming those lights to 50%. I don't quite need all of my lights on at full brightness for practice. So I'm going to go add scene. And we're going to call that football practice. And we're going to select a dimmer behavior of 50%. So I can drag that dimmer slider over to 50. And then I'm going to select the zone. So I want all four poles that I have already configured in zones to 50%. And I'm going to create that scene. So here's my new football practice scene. The lights go to 50. And you can see the other scenes that I already have set up. If I tap on those, it's going to show me what the behavior is and the zones associated with those scenes. So now we're gonna take that football practice scene and we're gonna go over here and click on schedule. And we're gonna say that we want those lights to come on and we're gonna use solar time because the lights, the amount of natural daylight is gonna change throughout the year. So we'll say at sunset minus 30, we want the lights to come on. And our practices are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And we'll select an end date. It's, we'll say this is a spring football, so we're gonna only practice for a few months and we'll be done by the end of March. So there's our last practice. So from February 3rd to March 25th, every Tuesday and Thursday, 30 minutes prior to sunset, we're gonna turn those lights on at 50% uh, using that scene that we just previously configured. So now I can see here when I click over on the day, it's coming Thursday, 30 minutes prior to sunset, the lights are going to turn on. Now, if practice gets canceled next week and I need to remove that event from the system so that the lights don't turn on, I can go over here and click on the three dots next to the event and I can delete that occurrence. And now the lights will remain off on Thursday afternoon. Now, of course, someone can log in, turn them on add a new scheduled event or press the buttons on the front of the central base station to control the lights. So there's still plenty of other ways to turn those lights on, but the automated system is not going to turn them on on Thursday uh, of next week. So just like that, we're able to set up a scene, 
just turn the lights to 50% dimming for practice and put them on the schedule. So it's pretty straightforward. There's really not a lot to it. Anybody can do it. And uh, hopefully you're able to see just how easy it is to use Simply Snap for sports lighting or any other lighting application.